Hello guys, welcome back to a new video on the One Sister channel where we talk about everything Fortnite creative related. Before I start off the video, I just want to say thank you so much for 1k on YouTube. We finally hit it. All these tutorial videos you guys have been liking, so I just keep making them. Uh, thank you so much for that. Let's get right on with the video. This could be us. So back to what I was saying. This could be us. Okay guys, today we're going to be going over the barrier device. It's just, it, that's all it's called, it's just called the barrier device. This isn't the regular barrier plate. I'll go over this in a different video. It's pretty much the same thing. Uh, I'll show you the differences, but this is the, this is the plate device. And this is just the device. So this one's a plate, you, can, you actually place it on any walls or stuff. Okay, so how the barrier device works, you can find it in your creative, go to creative, go to devices, it is right down here, it's like the one, two, three, four, fifth row down, barrier device, and this, with this barrier, I like how they put this in the game, you can like move it anywhere you want, you can place it anywhere, anywhere, in any direction, see you can do it sideways, any direction you would like that's the different part about this barrier than the the old barrier so this one you can like move around and stuff um so let's go right into the settings of the barrier it's like i think it's the exact settings as the other one the the regular barrier but we're gonna go over this right now barrier style if you don't know what the barrier style is it's whatever you want the barrier to be what if i put it to stone that it'll be stone that looks kind of cool i like that barrier maybe i'll use that <laughs> So, the barrier style is whatever you want it to look like on the outside. You can have it like that. You can have it clear, trans, uh, invisible. That's clear. Or you can have it like this, like a regular barrier. However, whatever style you want, that goes with your map. Next, base visible during game. I'm going to put this to yes so you guys can see what we're doing. So, the base is this little thing in the middle, this circle with the little triangle on the top. Do you want that to be visible in the game? I'm going to put yes for the video. Uh, block weapon fire. This is, do you want the barrier to block weapon fire? Do you want bullets not to go through it or do you want it to go through it? This this is a very important setting if you're making like uh, an aim practice map or something. This is a very good setting. Zone shape. The zone shape is either a box or box hollow. So box is just how it is right now. This is box. Where you can't go through it, you can't go in it or anything. But box hollow is where you can go inside of it and it's like around you. So like you can walk all the way to the sides inside of the box. So yeah, that's the difference between box and box hollow. I'm going to put this for box hollow just to show you how it works. The barrier width, depth, depth and height. So the width, uh, you can set this to however big you want. It goes to 100 for each of these. I'm going to set this to uh, 2 by 2 by 2 for the video. And then the last setting. This is a quick video. The last setting is enable when receiving from. Enable when receiving from whatever channel you want. And disable from whatever channel you, channel you want. It's like basically on every device in creative. So yeah. I'm going to show you the enable. I'm going to, for this video, you could do any channel. But make sure it's the same channel. I'm going to show you how to do this right now. So if enable on channel 1. Disable on channel 2. That's what I'm going to do right now. And look. Our, our got bigger. Our box got bigger. Um, and then you're going to want to go to get the button. Or you can. It can activate by a button. A trigger. A teleport. When teleported. Uh, so, But for this video I'm just going to grab a button. I'm going to rotate the button. Not that way. And I'm going to make it bigger. So, that's it. Also, when you're doing this, make sure to set the barrier to enable during game phase uh, none. So you can enable it. Customize button. Uh, in the button, you're just going to want to scroll all the way down to the bottom here where it says enable when receiving from. Or no, no, no. When it says interacted with transmit. So when interacted, I'm going to do channel 1, and I'm going to type enable. This button will enable it. I'm going to make another button. 
scroll down to the bottom, set this for channel 2. And then I'm going to do disable. If I can type right now. <laughs> disable. So this button will dis this button will enable the barrier. This will disable it. Let's put these two buttons inside because we're going to make our guy spawn in here because the box is hollow. Okay, and then we're going to put our spawn pad in here so we spawn in here. It's pretty simple stuff if you know you're creative. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to make our guys spawn on top of this thing because we made this show too. So if I start the game here. Okay. And then there will be no barrier. We can just walk anywhere we want freely. There's no barrier anywhere blocking us. But when we go back in here and we click enable, there's a barrier all the way around us and it did it enabled on channel 1. And this is showing, because we said show during game. That looks kind of cool. Um, pretty much. And then this button will disable it. Dis so enable the barrier. Disable. Channel 1. Channel 2. There we go. It might take a second to enable and disable. But that's basically how this barrier device works. It's really cool. The coolest thing is you can place it anywhere you want. I just placed it here. But you can place it anywhere on the whole map you want, in any direction you want. I think it's any size you want to, I'm not sure. Um, enable, enable, disable, enable, disable. Okay, if you guys, thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, hit that subscribe button. Road to 2,000 subscribers. Um, if you want to support me even further in the item shop, use code PEEPER1235 in the Fortnite item shop when you're checking out. Uh, and that's it for the video. Leave a like, subscribe, hit that notification bell so you don't miss any more creative tutorial and cool videos. I will see you guys next time. A sister out.